this module, we are going to be doing a lot of visual storytelling, thinking about that uh, concept as well as practicing it. So with visual storytelling, we're really focusing on telling the story, but how do you do that visually? Most students who go to school, most of their assignments are uh, in text form, so writing a paper or uh, writing a script. But in this assignment, you'll be telling that story and communicating that completely visually without words. When we are traveling in this van, we, are, we did not build this big van because we wanted to show off or impress anyone, like I talked about in the last module. We wanted to use it as an outlet for um, making stories and building those visuals in our memory. So going to see different places and visual was a big part of, of what we did when we traveled was just to see and experience new places and new cultures and meet new people. So in this assignment, you'll, your challenge is to tell a story using only images without text. And you'd be surprised how difficult that can be. So telling a story without any text takes a little bit of practice. And just like writing a story or writing a paper, you, you get better as you practice that. So there's a guy named Joe, uh, John Bohannon who created this program called Dance Your PhD. And this is all created because he hated PowerPoint so much. So because he hated PowerPoint so much, he um, created this program to visually communicate an idea rather than, and with movement, rather than tell it all in bullet points. And he would argue that PowerPoints are killing the economy. <laughs> Bad PowerPoint presentations are killing the economy. He created this dance program to demonstrate two other biologists had his ideas and his research and it was extremely successful so employing dancers and employing the arts to communicate his message another guy um, david mclanis is really well known for his data visualization he did not go to school as a designer um, in fact he was uh, in computer science and journalism but he found that visual communication was extremely powerful and he mentions a guy named Tor Nertranders, who's a Danish physicist, who converted the senses into computer terms. So visual sensory is actually the um, strongest uh, receptor for information, right before audio and even touch. So our visual senses are extremely sensitive and therefore we'll, we're able to gather so much more information just looking rather than hearing or reading or any kind of other sensory activity. So it's really important that we get this right. And even though when we go to class or when we go to give a presentation or um, any kind of normal activity that involves PowerPoint, it's really important to get those visuals right. Mm -hmm.